Good evening. Police in Pennsylvania say they were worried he would try to commit suicide by police. Tonight, a man wanted for murder there is in a Kentucky jail cell. Police in Clark County spotted Edward Baker Jr.'s car after getting word that he could be driving through the state. And as Garrett Weimer tells us, that was just the start of a dangerous chase that injured an officer. Garrett has our top story at 530. Winchester police say they found Edward Baker Jr. at the Clark County rest area here off I-64. It's right where Pennsylvania authorities thought he was hiding, but that was just the start of a chase police say involved him nearly running over three officers. I don't think we knew that he was wanted for a murder in Pennsylvania. Police think Baker killed his ex-girlfriend in her home near Pittsburgh Sunday night. Pennsylvania authorities sent out a description of Baker's car and Winchester officers spotted it. When officers found the registered sex offender at this rest stop, he had a gun. He made some comments, shoot me. Um, he was pretty combative, um, and uh, at some point he fled from the officers. Police say that's when Baker dragged an officer a few feet and nearly ran over two other officers. They say he led police on a high-speed chase on I-64. Mount Sterling police say Baker got off the interstate and led their officers on a chase through downtown where they cornered him. They say he got out and ran on foot, but they caught up to him and held him until Winchester police came and arrested him. We're told the officer who is dragged is scraped and bruised, but is okay. It's a dangerous job. Um, I, you know, he, he did what he had to do, and uh, luckily he was able to apprehend the individual without further incident. Baker faces three counts of wanton endangerment of a police officer. He's also charged with fleeing and evading police. In Clark County, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Mount Sterling Police Chief David Charles says that Baker may face additional charges in Mount Sterling. Police say Baker will be sent back to Pennsylvania eventually to face murder charges.